Hey guys, welcome to another Lunchtime Review. Today I'm going to be going to Waffle House. I have not been to a Waffle House in literally 30 years. So that's where I'm going to go today. I'm going to try out just to see what they have and uh, I'll be back. Okay, so here's what I actually ordered inside. So you have to go in and, and order. They don't have a, they have a, a delivery service, but they don't have a where you can order online and go pick it up. So I got the pork chop dinner. It comes with two pork chops, uh, Texas toast, and hash browns. And the hash browns, um, I got them smothered and covered, which means it's got onions and cheese. So, um, and you can get them all kinds of different ways. They've got a smothered, covered, and chopped, I think, is with ham. There's all kinds of different ways of, of getting it. So anyway, this is what I ordered. I'll um, be right back to tell you the total. Okay, so I don't, they didn't give me a receipt for, they write up a ticket and add it up, you know, by hand, basically. Um, so I don't have a ticket that gave me individual price. It was for the whole dinner itself. I think it was $9.90 or something like that for the for the meal and, and something else. I don't remember. Anyway, uh, probably for the smothered and covered uh, hash browns, they added a little extra too. So my total with tax in Kentucky, which is 6% sales tax, was $11.78. That was for the two pork chops, the hash browns, and the Texas toast. So... There you go. Um, I did get silverware and a little napkin. It's a small napkin, but you did get one. I'm gonna try the toast first. It's well toasted on both sides. Uh, if you've never been in a Waffle House before, um, it's kind of like kind of like an old diner kind of style. It's got um, it's got a bar that you could sit on, like a little countertop that you could sit and uh, order, or you can go sit at a booth if you're gonna be there for a while and they'll wait on you and bring your stuff to your table. I just stood at the cash register, ordered, and then waited at the bar um, to be waited to uh, get my food. It took about, I don't know, eight or 10 minutes. So, toast is nothing special. It's just literally thick bread toasted on both sides. It's not even a real buttery bread. It's, it's got butter on it where they toast it, but it's not a, a really uh, flavorful toast. That's more for um, um, pushing stuff on your fork when you're when you're getting about to the end of your uh, hash browns and stuff. That's what that's good for. This is a napkin. It's one of those, you know, typical thin packaged napkins. I'm gonna try the hash browns. And like I said, I haven't eaten at Waffle House in literally uh, 30 years because um, I used to go all the time when I worked at um, a restaurant when I was a teenager. And uh, we would go after work, um, go and eat and on a Friday or Saturday. But, um, you know, I worked I worked the closing shift at uh, Bob Evans is what it was. And um, we didn't close until 1 of course, Waffle House, most of them are open 24 hours a day. So we would go there after I got off work. I would go eat at one o'clock in the morning. Uh, the bad thing is that's when all the drunks are out too. So the people from the bars were also um, coming out at that time. Their hash browns are exactly what I remember them being. Um, they're like little shredded potatoes. Um, they're, they're really good, well cooked. They're good and crispy. And, um, but the potatoes themselves are good and tender. They don't have a lot of seasoning on them. Like they don't like, um, for example, Bob Evans, they used to have a seasoning that they would sprinkle on their hash browns. Uh, they were cubes. Um, this one really doesn't have a seasoning on it. It's just uh, potatoes. And But if you get them with onions and cheese, you really taste the onions and the cheese. And you can tell them they do it, they cook them in a little bit of the oil because um, they have a little bit of a a greasiness to them. Those are really good. I like those. And the half the um, pork chops. Let's try and pick one up. They're fairly thick pork chops. I mean, not super thick, but um, it is a bone-in pork chop. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to try to cut this with this plastic silverware. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this takes a little bit more saw on to get it to get it cut, but it does work. It does cut, so if you get it to go, you're fine. If you have actually, if you eat here, of course you get metal silverware. Um, they do encourage you to tip. They they actually uh, um, you can tip if you want um, or not. But most restaurants here, uh, if you sit down and get waited on, you get tipped. Um, if it's to go, that's up to you if you want to tip or not. 
Hmm. The pork chops what I almost always got years ago when I ate here um, regularly. The um, the pork chop was always my favorite. I would either get a pork chop or they have um, a country ham. That's always really good too. The pork chop reminds you of a pork tenderloin. It's a little denser than a pork tenderloin. It hasn't been like tenderized. It's a full, just a pork chop. But um, yeah, it's got a really good flavor to it. And again, the seasoning, it looks like it's just salt and pepper. There's nothing, you know, super fancy or anything like that. It's just salt and pepper on the on the pork chops. But the texture, uh, they're cooked really well. They, they grill them right there in front of them. You can watch them cook everything you have. It's really good. And it's got a little layer. Sorry. It's got a little layer of um, a ring of, like, fat around it, which is sounds bad, but it, that's the best part. Um... I think this is good. You know, Waffle House has been um, doing the same thing for years and years, and it works, and there's no reason to mess with it if it's working. You know, they um, they also sell breakfast all day long. They sell the dinners. Um, it's lunchtime, and I got a dinner. Um, they sell hamburgers. They sell melts. They sell all kinds of different stuff. So if you've never been to a Waffle House, most of the time they're near interstates most for the most part. Um, if you've never been to one and, and uh, you like hash browns and eggs and pork and uh, sausage and bacon and all that kind of stuff then try it out i think you'll really like it so i'm gonna get i mean it's not the most spectacular meal ever but i do really like it so i'm gonna give it a four and a half out of five i do think the quality is good um everything about it is is it's well made and it's good and crunchy the flavors are good um like i said the hash browns aren't seasoned so if you're worried about having a lot of seasoning on your hash browns and stuff you don't have to worry about them they're not they're just salt and pepper basically so yeah hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching